you doing? So I just got off the uh, phone with uh, my friend James O'Keefe. Uh, you you have to either be blind or liberal to not have heard about the video that James O'Keefe uh, released today, a 10 minute video that premiered at Breitbart. Uh, I was able to take a look at this over the weekend and uh, make a few notes on it and on our coverage. Joel Pollack wrote a great story about it. And uh, I'm gonna be doing an interview with James very shortly that will be up at Breitbart very quickly. Uh, but I wanna talk about what's, what's going on here because there are three big events in the news right now. By the way, I, I bitch about journalists a lot. James is one of the good ones. James does the hard work of journalism. He's a guy who's putting himself out there puts his body on the line going into stories like this and comes back with hard evidence, with video. He's doing original work. He's not just out there theorizing. I see this all the time from people and, and they got to stop doing it. They'll, they'll be like, oh, well, the Democrats are funding, you know, funding uh, protest. I've been to more protests than, than protesters this year. I spent the last, I've been on the road I'm I'm on, I'm still on the road. I've been on the road since the end of April, and I've covered you know half a dozen Trump events. I've been to pro protest up in you know across the country, big protests in New York, smaller protests in places like Texas. People conjecture all the time. Oh well, the Democrats are behind it. James O'Keefe proved it, and the fact that he proved it, and he just he got canceled from being on Fox. And that's what I'm going to be interviewing him about. Shows you how frightened the establishment. This is what I would call a clean hit. He has a guy like Robert Creamer, and I have a big story coming about who these guys are. Robert Creamer, or this guy uh, uh, who calls himself Black. His real name's Minter. That's a good name. It is a good name. It's refreshing. Let Black makes him sound more dangerous. This guy Black was part of the. Uh, Occupy Wall Street movement and he's a guy who everyone thought everyone at Occupy Wall Street was like this guy's a Democrat sellout Do you know why they thought that do you know why they thought that? Because he's a Democrat sellout. That's why he's a sellout. He's a complete sellout He's working with Creamer who's a radical community organizer out of Chicago From around the same time Creamer's been around forever served a prison sentence for what's called euphemistically check kiting but it has to do with these organizations that he has to do with. These are the thugs. People like Creamer, right? Uh, pe people like Black or Minter, Minter Fresh. Uh, these are the thugs who are organizing these things. We got a lot more coming on them. I got a big piece coming tomorrow morning. But the thing, the thing I was talking to James about is, look, you got three big events happening right now. Okay, let's go over them. You got James O'Keefe's videos, that's one. You've got uh, the Julian Assange stuff, the WikiLeaks stuff, which is crazy. That's a little hip hop lingo for you there. It's crazy, because it is. I didn't say cray cray, because that's been done. I'll go with crazy. That's completely insane. And then you've got this other thing that the media is actually picking up on, which is the quid pro quo thing where Hillary Clinton, I, I'm even ignoring Lampgate, where Hillary Clinton, who's apparently committed treason, so let's throw in petty theft while we're at it. Why not? Why not, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna sell out your country, you might as well get some furniture out of it, right? I mean, if you're gonna let people die in Benghazi, you might as well get a lamp, right? That makes sense. Uh, I'm laughing because the alternative is screaming. We're in a really dangerous position in our country right now. Let's not, let, let me say this, let me put a serious look on my face. We're in a really dangerous position right now, a place in our country right now. There, we, but the good thing, there's a good thing, there's an upside, which is the media have exposed themselves. The media, every day they're exposing themselves. So the only way it's gonna get better is if people like you, you, if people like you tell your damn friends 
to see what's going on. It's one thing to tweet out, wake up America. It's another thing to call a friend of yours and go, are you seeing this shit? Dude, are you? Or do that, whoever your friends are, I'm not judging. But I'm just saying, you need to call them and go, are you watching what's going on? Did you see this just James O'Keefe video? There are people who are taking, communicating with the Hillary Clinton campaign daily and they're creating all that violence you saw at the Trump rallies. Well, they were causing it and they admit to causing it. Have you seen this? You need to contact people. Again, it's real easy and I, I know. Social media is much of my social life because I, I, I work in a lonely business. Uh, but it's time, you know, but at least look, I have a platform. I'm able to write about stuff. I'm able to talk about stuff. I'm able to make an impact. By the way, I have a big piece coming on uh, Benghazi. Big original piece coming in Benghazi. Look for, oh, by the way, retweet this. See, I always forget to do that. You're supposed to do that. Mark, I'm very bad at this marketing part of the job. I'll be better. But anyway, look, this is a real serious time right now. And when you see they're shutting down Assange, and you know why. You know why they're doing it. You know why they're doing it. They didn't do this when, I said this last night, when WikiLeaks was putting out military info, they didn't make as concerted an effort. He is fucking with the political establishment. And look, if you want to know what's going on here, there are trillions of dollars at stake. The political establishment, there is a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. And it's going to both Democrats and Republicans. Okay? So trust me, any, any encroachment on your Second Amendment rights is not going to affect the Clinton or Bush bodyguards that they have around them. There's trillions of dollars at stake, so that's what's going on. I gotta do this interview with James. I'm gonna do that soon. I gotta write up the story. I'm monitoring social media. If you have any, I see a lot of people saying things, but I can't see. I'm really blind. Look, look at that. I'm also actually blind. By the way, in case you were wondering, I'm actually blind in this eye. That one right there, which is why it kind of drifts. You notice that? Kind of drifts sometimes. If you're not staring at my gigantic forehead, you may notice the eye kind of going. Very attractive. Okay, that's it. I love you guys. Keep the faith. There's 21, uh, 22 days till the election, about three weeks until the election. It's going to get crazier. It's going to get crazier, batting down the hatches fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy election. If, if this is just Monday and there's three weeks of the election. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Don't let them, don't let the bastards grind you down. Let me put it that way. Do not let the bastards grind you down. They want you to think that Trump has lost this thing. I look at the rallies. I look at other stuff that's going on. I don't think it's that way because the fact is people are waking up. I don't know what's going to happen. It's Trump against the world right now, but you're, except you guys, you're the actual world. Remember that. There's more of you than there are of them. They have more money, though, and some of them have better abs. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, love you guys. Bye.